Hey, hey, okay. Clear prop. That's a nice chunky motor on the back there, I'll tell you. Good, right. right, you just hold. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. Down. Yeah, and we'll see if I can catch it. Yep. Okay, we've got a tendency. Okay, I think that's evened her out. So all I've done there, she was just trying to fly to the right. And I've just... Gosh, we've got lots of power. Stupid amounts of power. Put nose up a bit, maybe. Yeah, definitely nosing up. Poodle as well, you know. She's poodling all right, isn't she? You can, you can see, you notice how it will, if you nearly stall, it will float. Now, the stalling on this should be really good because the wings um, are almost swept forward like the yeah. little baby dart. That is wow. about 40% throttle and that's cruising. Should we get some good footage on that? It certainly helps so to bring her around. You're right, orientation is interesting. Mm. In this grey light against the grey sky, it's, um, it's really weird. Well, the idea is I think we'll have a crack at this with FPV. Yeah. Um, I think that will be really good at FPV, actually, because that, that's... Yeah. It's very stable. It's very floaty and well-behaved. It is. That's a bit interesting. It's very floaty, isn't it? I'm tempted to put the nose a little bit less yeah. elevator in. But that is absolutely lovely to fly. It'd be interesting to see where the control surfaces are for the little. The only thing I'm playing with is the elevator. Um, so the throttle I'm running on, she's maintaining height. But that little bit of wind at altitude is pushing her around. So when we're coming up this way into the wind, yeah. her nose is rising. And then when we go back round, it does look good, doesn't it? It looks like something ba Batman. It do, yeah, it looks, to me, I'm thinking Star Wars, actually. It's very, very unusual. Okay, I need to keep track of my time. So uh, I've got six and a half minutes left on the timer, because um, I'm keen to bring it in and see where the battery is, because... Um, she, yeah, whenever we go into the wind, her nose is coming up a little bit. Yeah, she does. She's pitching up a little bit in the, in the wind. So the idea with this is I'm going to put a flight controller in it. Right, yeah. And we're going to have this as like a super duper version of the little mini dart. So rather than it just be the basic stabiliser, which is still bloody brilliant fun, I'm going to put a stabiliser in it. Now, shall we see what we can do about an approach? Yeah. I think, I think it will float very nicely, actually. I don't think you have any problems. <laughs> that's what I... That's I don't, the yeah, she, 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 do, she, doesn't, she doesn't want to land. She's yeah, one of those planes that's quite happy. Not at all. She doesn't... Oh, my Lord. I reckon you can go around again, actually. That right, I'm at I'm at like ten percent throttle there. I so you're gonna have to approach at that height. Yeah, I am. Now interestingly, she 
Um, those little air gates, or whatever they're called, on the wings. Um, I spoke to ZOHD about that because they're not, they don't look like classic um, vortex generators to aid with lift, but they are absolutely behaving like that. Fantastic. So, 4 minutes 46 was left on the timer, so let's see what we've got left. Hopefully the, the prop survived. I want to put a folding prop on here as well. Yeah, that'd be useful. But what an yeah. absolutely fab plane. What's it done underneath? I'm looking down. Yeah, yeah, got... Oh, it, it tried to eat yeah. some of the... Yeah, but it's only to be expected. Yeah, it's obviously hungry. Yeah. So back on the bench, pulled the battery out. This is a 3000 milliamp hour 4S pack and after five minutes of flying, it had taken about 7% of the battery out. So if you pro rata that on this 3000 milliamp hour pack, if I fly like I flew for all the time I'm in the air, I'll get the best part of an hour's flying out of this. However, I have a 4000 milliamp hour pack and this plane would be a great candidate for a lithium iron pack that would extend the flying time even more. So endurance is not going to be a problem with this airframe. And the way those air guides on the leading edge of the wing seem to be working is exactly as you'd expect something like vortex generators to be. Now the flow of air over a wing like this isn't straight from front to back, it actually curves in towards the body. So maybe that's what's creating the vortices that's really helping with the low speed characteristics. So next job then is to get the mini vector out and start setting that up. And I'll do that in the next video too. Big thank you to Ross, my flying buddy who you've seen in the video, who did an amazing hand launch for this maiden and made sure that it came down in more or less one piece. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.